ESPN Seton Hall began their Big East game at 7 p.m. last night at the dunk. It ended at 12.45 this afternoon at Alumni Hall on the campus of Providence College. By now, you've heard about the slippery floor at the dunk last night. So could PC use the advantage of playing in their practice gym to overcome a nine-point second half deficit when play resumed today? Allowed Alumni Hall takes over for the second part of the game. Seton Hall head coach Kevin Willard only brought one suit. He was in sweatpants today. How about Kyron Cartwright right to the hole, Friars within seven. Then it's Rodney Bullock with the big steal, takes it down for the one-handed slam, Friars within four. More from Cartwright, top of the key, this three for his 1,000th career point, but all Seton Hall down the stretch. Kadeem Carrington with some nice moves, a team high 25, PC falls 89-77. Ruthie Polinski has more. An 89-77 Friar loss to Seton Hall is how this bizarre series of events concluded. The Friars resuming play on Thursday afternoon here at Alumni Hall after their game on Wednesday night was suspended due to the floor conditions at the Dunkin' Donut Center. Ed Cooley saying after the loss that they missed an opportunity to play at a huge advantage. Give them a lot of credit. They executed a game plan for 13 minutes and, you know, uh, you know we, we got to be a better job defensively. And I think we were great defensively. Um, definitely was an opportunity for us that we let pass by. Now, anytime you're at home, you got to try to control your home court, and we didn't do that two of the last three home games. So, you know, we put ourselves in a tough spot, and we've earned it, so we got to go out there and try to steal a couple on the road to try to become an NCAA team. The Friars are now in a three-way tie for fourth place in the Big East with three games to play before the Big East tournament the second weekend of March. Reporting at Alumni Hall in Providence, I'm Ruthie Polinski, Eyewitness Sports.